I'm Julia Buzzatil Nishimura and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my super simple lemon almond cake and since we're in spring now um, I'm pairing it with some beautiful roasted strawberries. It's super simple. First we're going to put in 150 grams of caster sugar uh, into the bowl. And instead of just zesting the lemons in and mixing and going like that, we're going to zest them into the sugar. So just going to zest that all in. And when you're zesting, you don't want to get any of the white pith. So you just want to zest and keep turning the lemon because the white pith is what is going to make it bitter, whereas the lemon, the actual lemon zest, the yellow part, is really nice and fragrant. We've got all of that beautiful zest in there. And what we're going to do is we're literally going to rub the sugar, the lemon zest, into the sugar. It smells incredible. So now that the lemon zest has been rubbed into the sugar, we're going to add our three eggs. We're just going to crack them straight in. One. Two and three. And mix it until it is nice and incorporated. You can see they're just nice and mixed together. We're gonna to add in the natural yogurt. And the yogurt keeps the cake really nice and moist. Also gonna add in the 150 ml of olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. Just keep mixing. So now that the olive oil is all mixed in, we're going to add in a little bit of vanilla paste. You can use um, just vanilla essence, or if you've got vanilla beans, you can do that too. And we're also going to zest, uh, sorry, juice the lemons. So we've got the two lemons that we used the zest of. We're just going to juice those in. All right, perfect. So we've got our beautiful almond meal. We've got the polenta, just stream that in. And last but not least, the self-raising flour. You can absolutely sift it in if you want to, but I'm just going to pour it in now. We want to really not over mix it at this stage to not overwork the gluten, just enough so that there are no real big lumps and then it just kind of comes together. I've got my tin here, this is a 23 centimetre tin. We're just going to pour the batter in. Alrighty, and ready to bake and we'll come back and do the strawberries and then we can eat. Um, I've got 250 grams of beautiful strawberries. Pop them in a really small baking tray. You don't want too much space around them because then it will kind of just burn. You want to kind of keep all of that liquid. So we're just going to put another little bit of vanilla in there. We've got a tablespoon of caster sugar. Going to, I'll zest it first actually. So just half a lemon and squeeze out some juice. And this is gonna bake and then we are ready to eat our cake. So our cake has baked really beautifully. Um, I've just transferred it to a plate, a cake stand, dusted it with icing sugar. And um, we've got our beautiful strawberries here, which have all of that lovely juice. You can kind of see it's really nice and syrupy. That's gonna go alongside the cake. This is a perfect kind of afternoon tea cake. So beautiful. That goes on our plate. I'm going to put a little bit of yogurt on the side and finish off with some of the strawberries. And there you have it, my simple lemon almond cake with roasted strawberries and yogurt.